everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Moisturizer. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. So this right here is what the box looks like. This is what the bottle looks like. It is supposed to be a multi-action whip gel cream that instantly blurs pores, wicks away visible oil and smooth skin, leaving it perfectly primed for makeup application. So since this product does claim to be a moisturizer and a primer, that's exactly what I'm going to be using it for. I didn't put anything on my skin right now. On my face is currently bare. There's nothing on it. Um, so since this does claim to be a moisturizer and a primer, Hopefully this would be a good moisturizer. It does have this little seal to it. Just take that off. And we're just gonna work this into the skin. It does have this gel light whip texture to it. I'm gonna apply this all over my skin. guys in for a closer look so you guys can see how this looks on my skin. There's so all the way in and you guys can definitely see that right here it did blur out my pores on this side of my face and on this side. I really feel like this can control the amount of oils that I do produce so I'm definitely excited to test this out for you guys and check in and do some updates. For foundation I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Pump some on the back of my hand like so just pumped out a drop. I'll do another drop here. I dot the foundation all over the skin. I have already applied my foundation on my skin and first impressions so far so good. I really like how this foundation does sit well on the skin with the primer and moisturizer on by the Estee Edit brand. We'll be doing a couple of check-ins throughout the day and keep you guys updated as always to see how this product does perform. I got this, this Marc Jacobs Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist as a deluxe sample for purchasing this product. Of course, it does come with a cute little pump. And this is a lot of product for a deluxe sample. Let me just smell this really quick definitely smells good smells like coconuts you guys see that it just sprays so weird I thought this would be a good you know sprayer at least I mean it's Marc Jacobs it should be good I definitely want to test out the pump on the full size to see if it's the exact same as the deluxe size because this pump sucks since we are not reviewing that Marc Jacobs setting spray we are reviewing the Estee Edit pore vanishing moisturizer check back in in a couple of hours hey guys this is my check-in on the Estee Edit pore vanishing moisturizer and I do feel like this didn't really do anything for my skin you can still see my oiliness and my pores and you can see my texture um, this doesn't claim to be a texture product but I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can take a look on what is going on with my skin. I'm just going to read some of the claims on Sephora.com that this product claims to do. It says, this multi-action whipped cream gel instantly blurs look of pores, eliminates visible oil and smooth skin. It reduces shine and helps control pore clogging oil with salicylic acid, brightens with vitamin C, and keeps skin feeling calm and fresh with caffeine. Plus, light perfecting technology with special optical blurring powders creates a natural pore effect finish. Proven to immediately reduce the appearance of pores and provide instant hydration. You can use this formula as a daily moisturizer or as a primer under makeup. It's resumed all the way in and it does mention on here, it says, an oil-free moisturizer that primes the skin for a matte look. I think in the beginning it did prime the skin for a matte look, but right now it's not matte at all. I am very shiny and you can see the pores that I have on my face. I notice that I am breaking out with this product right here. As of right now, I'm not really a fan of this product. I feel like it's not doing its job. It doesn't claim what it's supposed to be doing, but we'll just see how I look in a couple more hours for my final check-in. It is the end of the night and I feel like this moisturizer didn't really work out for me. It made me break out for one thing and I feel like it didn't really control the oiliness that I do have and the shininess that I have. I feel like I'd rather buy two separate products, one that does one thing and another thing that does another thing. So with my moisturizer, like the Dr. Dart one, 
I know I always compare my moisturizer to the Dr. Jart because it's a really great moisturizer, but I feel like that moisturizer does very good as a moisturizer. If that would have been like a moisturizer or primer, then no, it wouldn't be as good. So I feel like if a product claims to do two things, it's not really going to work for me in my opinion. This product, however, didn't work for me. I don't like it. I really had high hopes coming into this. I really thought, you know, it claims to do so much thing. It controls oils, blurs pores, hydrates and primes makeup. Like all this stuff that it claims to do. Like it really didn't do anything for my skin. So that's why I'm just going to take a pass on this. This product didn't really work for me and I don't like it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video.